come in steady her a couple of weeks ago. Her losses this year, she's blown leads. Oh. In losing to Helena Sokova at the Australian Open. And Larissa Savchenko. the effort by the 17 year old Martina it's a great drop ball here but look she has her racket down she's not really thinking Zvereva is going to get it and it's just wide I think that's a problem you know she gets a little cocky up there and uh, doesn't think people are going to run that fast Great game. Low 30. And the key to that was she ran around what a ball that would have been to her backhand and just bashed it up the line for a winner. Cool. Now, but on that point, there's something that a lot of players have been doing. Usually, no one used to attack Martina, especially a baseliner, and come in, and I've seen a lot of them do it against her. She's lost a little bit of that, you know, psychological edge that she had over a lot of players. Too good is right. But Navratilova, with a good return, hesitant, gets caught inside the baseline. And also, she went cross court to Vereva's strength. Navratilova. And she catches the line. Great point. What a difference, Joanne, from the Navratilova we saw yesterday against Monlikova, where they were all out bashing. She played aggressively, and with force, she's much more tentative today. And she came in twice as many times as Hanna Monlikova did. This kid's groundies have her wary. to break back they may have you know make her wary but the thing is when you're a serve and volleyer you've got to keep coming in and here she lets the ball bounce you know martina never she, she's before two yards behind where she should be right never before she never let the ball bounce no. oh. and that's what i meant about that drop yes, shot Yelling up to the players' box, a uh, little terrace off their room. You see some of the other competitors and coaches and uh, tennis family up there. Those are the vultures, much like court two at Wimbledon. Everybody gathers and kibitzes. It's kind of fun up there. Oh, yes. mentioned the worst scenario at the, at the beginning of the match and that's if Martinez serve volley doesn't really work and she starts to stay back and try to rally well the problem is Vereva's already broken her serve and now she's rallying from the baseline 
If Martina doesn't behave like Martina, then she's lost. Yeah. And here she gets a second ball. Let's see if she attacks. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Spin love and Zvereva survives a break point against her and leads 4-1 in the opening set. Just a few yards away, beautiful harbor town. And we're moored in here at center court as Martina Navratilova serves 1-4. You know, when Martina's serving well, her disposition improves, her return improves, everything improves. Does when? yours? Always, always. <laughs> Martina, half volleys this. Now, she's really not, look, her racket's down, she's not ready. And she lets this ball get by, and she's going to try a between the legs there, but it's too uh, too late. Hey! Just wide, 30 15. <laughs> she's saying, wow. That ball was just out. Because it was well hit. It had no chance. A great serve. That's textbook from Nebraska And you think about it, every time she's come to net, she is playing Zverev a strength. You know, sometimes I think, what is her coach telling her? Oh! I mean, Zverev's forehand is pretty good, but it's not as good as her backhand. to 40-30. Well, speaking of her coach, uh, that is a revolving door proposition. Uh, former coach Virginia Wade is here. Uh, she has a new man in that position, does she not? Almost everybody here has been her coach at one time or another. <laughs> there's there's that backhand. That's good control with it. Really pinpoints. Zvereva's always ready. She's got that back, and she can go so many places with that backhand. She seems to get psyched for Martina. I, you know, I've seen her play other people where she played like a dog. Big point. Craig Hardhart, yes. Navratilova's coach this year, last year at this time at uh, Hilton Head, it was Tim Gullickson. Very Tim. interesting article on uh, Navratilova in a current tennis magazine. Tim says it was an amicable party, and Card used to play at the University of Texas. In that ad court, that big left-handed sweeping serve of Navratilova is still a powerful weapon. That's the big advantage of being a lefty. Opposite spin. And you're right, Joanne. She plays the serve in Bali and looks very good at it. She certainly does. Marat Zverev, the father of the young Russian, a good player in Russian terms in his day from Minsk, where he coaches tennis. physical education instructor for the state and an alumnus of the college that Natalia attends. Yes. Double fold number
Carva gets a bad bounce on this, and she's going for the drop shot. <laughs> Verva stands inside to receive the second serve. She's always ready to take it on the rise. She doesn't let the ball bounce much at all. Oh, it's wide. A tough game for Nebratilova, but she holds. Verva leading 4-2. Yeah. Martina is talking about a lot of unnecessary stuff. Noise on the balcony, move a sign because it's sunny. I mean, there are a lot of extraneous things that are, you know, affecting Martina's concentration. Whereas before, forget it, she could chip in charge uh, if there was a hurricane going on. to play tremendously today and what she does is she jumps on the ball it's coming up and she just she looks like Steffi Groff yep. there quite a similar portrait Martina underestimates Zverev's speed. You have got that down, bud, because Martina's standing there practically with her hands in her pocket. She drop shots, her racket's down by her side, and all of a sudden she goes, oh. 15, Natalia, you're unlucky to lose that point. I think Natalia's been working on those sprints. Her coach, Olga Morozova, has said, you know, she said, I, I realize she hasn't competed well a couple of times. She said, our kids mature later. She said, let her grow. And I think that's right. Two terrific saves by Zvereva early in the point. She really battled to stay in that one. Made a great save, hit up a really high lob. And you know what? Zvereva now is playing Martina's forehand. Martina has, has no psych job going for it. It used to be she'd pick up a couple games set free. Oh. A point away from a 5-2 lead. And this is what I mean, Zvereva coming into net, taking the short ball, wailing it down to Martina's forehand. Now nobody's afraid of anything in Martina's game. And where was she? Zvereva with a squeal, gets to the forehand and holds. And when we return, it'll be Navratilova serving to stay in the first set. Just as she hit it. Sometimes. Listen to Zvereva. F2, Zvereva leading, and uh, Navratilova trying to stay in this opening set. She argued. She appealed to umpire Steve Ulrich. She said, that's a distraction. He said, no. She hit it. She screamed as she struck the ball, not while you were trying to return it. And I think he was correct. But again, Joanna points out that Martina bothered seemingly by a lot of action and even sounds away from her own play. Oh, yeah. I mean, she is totally losing it here mentally. She's not concentrating on her game. That's been the problem. That's what I said two weeks ago when she called on Renee Richards for some consultation. Renee has always been able to call Martina and point out 
the saliencies. That looked wide. Sure did. But, you know, she's in a losing frame of mind right now. Well, the thing is, the only time you get calmer is when you play better. That's it. I mean, and you've got to work hard to play better. And she has not really, I don't think, put in the hours. I think even the uh, most modest hacker in the world can identify with that, and it is true at, at all levels. It's amazing how calm I get when I make two shots in a row. Yeah. Didn't see that yesterday in the press tournament, Dick. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. <laughs> She can slice it. She can do so many things with it. Here she gets ready early and just flings it cross court for the winner. Paints it right in that corner. Two points from the set. And Zverova is totally taking Martina's serve and volley game away from her because of the great returns of serve. inside that baseline. She's like a ping pong player back there. Two set points for Zverova. Look at Martina's face. You know, she she looks so sad and, you know, she's trying to get it back, but she's doing nothing here. It used to be, you know, I played Martina plenty of times. She'd serve and volley on clay first and second serve. She didn't care who was over there. And she makes a great volley here. Her skills have not deteriorated. Makes a good little drop volley there to tie it up with Deuce. that end, even though the wind seems to indicate that the wind's blowing this way toward Martina. The ball's carrying uh, most of all towards the Verova's end. Second set point. She has the opening set 6-2. And here it is. Martina's confidence shot the forehand to Zverevas. And look who turns up the winner. Well, we've been uh, somewhat critical of Martina Navratilova, at least her uh, emotional, temperamental part of her game in that first set. But let's not forget that she is uh, the second best player in the world, even as we speak. And maybe... Uh, we're expecting too much from her, remembering too much from the past. Well, it's because, really, nothing's different. She's just as fast, as strong. Ooh, eight. And with that ace, her first, Zverba seemingly picking up strength. Now, that's why it's so difficult to see Martina like this, because her skills are there. The skills are there. She's fit. But it's the tennis version of the yips that you hear golfers talking about. And Rod Laver, at the, about the same age, was the same. He was superbly fit. He was competitive. But on those big points, the ball would fly on him. It was just a deterioration of the nerves. But also, I think, 
you know, when you have, if you're losing, she's approaching the backhand. You got to try something else. You know, I think my guest step was her best coach. He was so prepared. He prepared her so well for all her matches. Now coaching Hannah Monlikova, and uh, she looked very good yesterday. The best Definitely. in quite some time. She's pulled herself out of the doldrums, which is very nice to see. Just long. So Navratilov with a chance to break Zvereva to open this second set. You know, Mike Kestep, he has a little book. He writes down everything about any player he sees. And when you go out to play, you know what their weaknesses are and you know how to play them. Oh. For the first time, Zvereva is broken. Navratilova takes the early lead in the second set. One of the elegant ladies of tennis. Oh, was she a joy to watch. Yvonne Gulagong Cauley. She now represents Sears Gulagong Active Wear. Won all the big ones, all the Grand Slam titles except the U.S. Open. That was a difficult one for her because Chris Everett was always there on clay, although she did play a magnificent final on grass. 1974, one of the great women's finals I've ever seen. Billie Jean King beat her in three. That Forest Hill Stadium was rocking. Martina. Billie Jean King's here, I believe. Saw her last night. She has a wonderful book out. We have come a long way with Cindy ah! Starr, Dick. And I learned so much about tennis from reading that book. And maybe it's immodest to say, but there aren't many tennis books I can say that about. And a wonderful book. We have come a long, a, a long way about women's tennis. Ah! 15 all. Let's look at the uh, first set statistics. Vareva winning that 6-2. Navratilova, first serve percentage under 50%. And three more winners for Zvereva. Well, you don't see that often on a Navratilova oh! report card. Yeah, especially when you're playing someone who is usually at the baseline. Uh, that's a tough way to go. Zverba plays after winning the first set. She's dropped the opening game of the second set on her serve. And she flies it long, 30-15. 30-15. Very important game for Navratilova. Can she consolidate? Can she show the kid the first set was just a mistake? That she's going to take over? Big serve into the ad court, 40-15. Well, but I keep looking back to the French Open, where Zverev beat her, and Martina was whining about it was too windy and all this stuff, and it was on clay, kind of similar conditions to this. She just let everything get to her. Good reply on that forehand from Zvereva. Zvereva just, uh, it seems like Martina's left-handed kick serve doesn't bother. The wide serve, she just moves in a step and clubs it. Ratulova holds. Two love in the second set. Zvereva won the first. Yeah, with us, the MetLife Blimp. Uh, worked with NBC Sports many times, including Super Bowl 23 from Miami. And in July, we'll be in Anaheim, California for the 1989 All-Star Game. Captain Mike Farmer from Hunters Creek, Florida, the pilot. Talking about service percentage. I mean, it's bad of a serve. Starts that point up, that's all. And finally, Steffi Groff rested the title as the women's best. And just continues to underline that with exclamation points. And curiously, since Steffi took over the number one ranking, August 87, she and Martina have met only twice. Martina in great form. She runs around her back in there. 
She's got she's got the shots. And now it's Verova that seems to be pressing a bit. Three break chances for Navratilova to take a three love lead in the second. Two breaks in the second. <laughs> Ball flew into the stands by a woman named Georgia Hook and people laughing. Good play by Georgia. Cracker Jack play by Georgia. Mm. Good play. She was hesitant about it and missed it. But to cut off the looping ball is a very good play. And I notice Arancha Sanchez is starting to do that a little bit, using her speed. Wasn't the greatest looking volley, but, no, but good play. Excellent idea. And look at her take that ball. She's a clay quarter brought up in Europe, no doubt. But she doesn't play clay court tennis the way anybody else does, because she takes the ball so early. We've got to with a lefty. And something has gone out of Natalia's game for the moment. Well, Martina's not really doing anything different from the first set. She has said Natalia's making all the errors now. Where Martina played the ball. Martina, it's it's amazing to me. I've I've watched her play so many years, and she comes in. Watch where her feet are. She's right at the service line. She's behind the service line, and you can see she's pretty upset with that play. As well, she should be. Well, just spun that one right back. So from 40, 15 to just. In part, the fact that Martina is a step short or maybe a step and a half short, is that because Zvereva gets to the ball so quickly and the return is on its way? That's one factor. I think another is Martina's unwillingness to charge on or the serve Or when volley. you're not sure your serve's going in, you're kind of looking to see if it goes in first, so you're always a half step back. A combination of all those things. Martina had about three chances there to chip and go in, and she stayed back on all. But of course, she was playing the strength of Zvereva. She was going right at her backhand every time. Verba breaks back. Oh boy, can you look at it? Navratilova 
losing one of those great games, and now it's one threes of Arabasur. And you notice her her approach shots. Martinez approach shots long, it's short. She's approaching, she's almost running in before she's made the approach shot. Mixing in a drive after all those sliced backhands. Unforced errors turned around. Nebratilova playing much better the second set. Yesterday I watched Zverva play her Fed Cup teammate, Lila Meshki, and she played way behind the baseline. They were lobbing themselves silly over there on court 15. It was unbelievable. Just why? So Zverova definitely has a game plan when she plays Martina because she plays Lila Meshki. Hey, if she doesn't play up on the baseline. She was playing six feet back of the baseline. They lobbed so much, it was really a boring match. Well, she says, I'm playing a Russian, we both ought to play like Russians. Speaking of the Soviets, you know, Savchenko and Meshki and Zverba, they've got some fine young players, do they not? They do, they're coming. Chesnikov, Volkov. There are even some good balls. She'll get it. Those great hands of Nebratilova right down on her knee to chip that winner in. I mean, it was a great shot, but Navratilova is still standing in a pretty dicey position. She's there in no man's land. No woman's land, Joanne, please. <laughs> serve this set. That's three straight times she's been broken. Navratilova leads 4-1. Right after our semifinal action from the Family Circle Cup, Major League Baseball debuts on this Saturday. Dodgers and Braves are Pirates and Cubs, and Marv Albert will have a special left-hander as his guest on Major League Baseball. President George Bush will reflect on his days as the Yale baseball captain. Stay with us. Major League Baseball next. Martina's parents only a few feet away from her, to her right, taking the sun. a nice clay court point, wasn't it? It really was. And I think Zvereva has definitely improved her quickness. She gets over here and manages uh, in a great way. I mean, she just bombed that up the line. Well, she's going to improve a lot. And as her coach, Olga Morozova, says, be patient with her. They didn't enter in the Australian Open this year. She says, we don't want to rush her. Woo! Quite in contrast to... Uh, most young, talented U.S. players, where we really rush them through, force feed them. They're pros at such an early age and all the pressures that go with it. Full schedules. There's too much of that, all right. I was at the Easter Bowl two weeks ago, the top junior tournament, and boy, some of those parents are tough. Scary. Oh, Ooh, what a serve. Third a double fault, and with it, Three more chances to break. Tough to hold serve in the second set. Zverova has lost at three games, and Navratilova about to lose at two out of her three. And Zverova still is standing on the baseline, right in front of it, taking that ball early. Right there. 
and erases one break. Point 1540. are just joining us semifinals of the 17th family circle cup and Natalia Zverova number nine in the world from the Soviet Union won the opening set 6-2 Navratilova serving 1540 leading 4-1 in the second and has been broken and she is in a constant dialogue with herself in this match and Zverova showed us the flexibility of that backhand, an inside-out angle return. She's pretty amazing. Her backhand is not like your typical uh, two-handed backhand because she really hits it flat a lot of times cross-court. Then she can dip it, lob it, slice it with one hand. And there's her first ace. Oh, make that number two. Did have one early in the match. Something she uh, has not shown talent for in the second set is holding her serve. She's lost at three straight service games. On the line. Great point by Navratilova. Zvereva standing back there, waiting, 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 and she could have come into that. A mistake. But here, Martina takes the net, and she's right up here. Puts Zvereva, the pressure on. She's a good lobber, this Soviet kid, but she doesn't take advantage of it. Well, when you said they were going to take their time with Natalia, one thing is Olga wanted to, her to work on her volley, but she said she's stubborn. <laughs> she has to see that uh, it's going to work for her before she comes in. Lines one came out and confirmed the fact that the ball was out. Here it is. Tough to read from our Tough angle. This is Martina's typical thing here, where she gets the lead, 4-1. She has her serve, she gets broken, and now she's down 40-15. She lets people back into the match. Pressure is on Navratilova. It's a nice feeling to buy. Team Navratilova and in the rows in front of Craig Carton, Martina's parents. A little uh, edgy here, as are the Navratilova fans after she has gone from two breaks up in this second set and now battling for the 4 3 lead down a set. Things have loosened up for her parents, and they're being permitted to travel by the Czechoslovak government. You remember just 10 years ago when Martina won her second Wimbledon, what a great story it was that her mother was allowed to go to London after a great deal of red tape had been cut. This game could decide the match. If Martina doesn't play a strong game, to get out of that with a point because on her serve she's being forced to stand back and rally and although I look at her ground strokes and I say hey I'd like to have those groundies who wouldn't uh, the, her game is serve and volley chip and charge I mean you don't want to lose when you're number two in the world but if you're gonna lose play your own game play your own style <laughs> And 
Zverva, her strength, the passing shot. Martina gets passed. Wise person said Signal good, good. But overruled. overruled. But yeah. Steve Ulrich in the chair, ruling that ball long. 15-30. So Martina falls under 50% on her approaches. She's made 24 of 49. Points one. Martina, in a way, when she comes up to hit a lot of balls, she lets go by her. She's almost hoping they're going to be out instead of saying, I can get this, I'll hit a winner. And Martina lost her balance in charging the net. And she hit a good serve here, and she trips on the line there as she's going for that ball. Yeah, we first saw young Zverva as a junior champion, almost won the Junior Grand Slam in 87. Won everything but the Australian. news last year, year ago in Paris when she upset Navratilova. because she has things in her game that she doesn't like. Well, you know, we see her play Martina all the time. Papa's there. <laughs> Agonizing in a way. <laughs> well, we see Martina playing Chris all the time, and, and it looks so good because they're very comfortable with each other, and there's no nerves yeah. in that match. No surprises. Right. And we're here. It's a total surprise, and she's nervous all the time. Oh. Martina, not even close. Way off on that first serve. slice caught Martina unprepared. Well, that's something else that Zvereva has added to her game. And if you want to move, nowadays, if you want to move up a level, every two-hander has got to have a good one-handed slice. Mats Lander started that trend. Big serve. Gratilova, point from 5-3. Well, she had two points to be up for love. Five three. Nebratilova game away from forcing the third set. That was a creaky game. Now Martina will push hard. If she could break, she'd start her serve. The third set. That's a tough shot when somebody hits you that little dink slice to go a big topspin down the line. It's high part of the net there. You're quite taken by that backhand, aren't you? I am. I was just wondering, and I better wonder aloud, I guess, how she could get so much of an angle on a ball that close to her body with a motion that she also oh. uses to hit down the line. It really does disguise. That is one of the splendid backhands. Nice volley. You know, 
This is a good place to watch Zvanova's backhand because she's sort of like a pitcher. She hides her racket behind her there, and then she goes, but Martina's right on the ball and makes the good volley. But that's what's so difficult. She hides her racket. You don't know where she's going to hit the ball. Getting off the line, and with it, two set points, Navratilova. was what you call the bunt approach where you just hit it and you don't follow through and the ball flies. two break points it's deuce Zvanova no fear she's playing Martina's back and she comes into the net takes over where Martina is queen and it's back to deuce oh. third set point for Martina win just as uh, Zverevo made her toss. It'll be a first serve. I believe the Lions woman overruled herself. Yes. Now, even though Martina missed that, it was a good play. She went for it. You know, you get a, a serve that's sitting up like that. You can't just play it down the middle, especially against Natalia Zverevo, who's got some big guns from both sides. Fourth chance for Navratilova to win this second set. Ooh, big serve by Zvedeva. in the first, Navratilova 6-3 in the second. One set all. The number four.